My name is uh, Paul, Paul Wassell, and um, I work in GAR as uh, head of R&D downstream. So I've been in the industry, uh, the food industry for a long time. Started in the baking industry actually, and then gradually uh, somehow ended up in the oils and fats industry. Palm oil has uh, enormous applications. We can find it in things such as uh, margarines, we can find it in things like chocolate, ice cream, yogurt, you can even find it in lipstick. Palm oil products will be used by uh, manufacturers together with other oils such as soybean oil, such as rapeseed oil. And often that's done to uh, achieve a particular creaming performance or whipping performance. Palm oil is an oil which they associate with saturated fatty acids. Yes, it contains saturated fatty acids, but then so do most oils. Saturated fats are like uh, building blocks. They're like the bricks in a wall. So you need, uh, you need some bricks to be able to create structure. The structure, for instance, of uh, a butter. Why is butter semi-solid at room temperature? It's because of the saturated fats. If you remove the saturated fats, you end up with a liquid. Can you imagine if you're a food manufacturer and you're trying to produce a certain kind of cream inside a, um, a biscuit? You need a, a degree of saturated fat in there for functionality. Um, otherwise, it cannot perform the function. The good news is, if you get it from palm oil, it's a perfectly natural product. Many consumers suffer with lactose intolerance, so um, lactose coming from milk products. But the fact is, is that milk uh, fats have a particular melting behavior. We can uh, design uh, a special fraction from palm that mimics milk fat. It's amazing. Palm oil is, yeah, multi-purpose.